So today we're talking to people who went to great lengths in the pursuit of love, like my next guest. His name is Matthew Werning. The 25-year-old has become a viral sensation. He quit his job to crisscross the country in search of love. He went to 50 dates in 50 states, documenting his adventures on TikTok, racking up millions, tens of millions of views, and his fair share of not-so-secret admirers. Take a look. <laughs> I'm gonna go surprise my date with some coffee. And I got her a dozen roses. So I'm from small town Huntley, Montana, roughly about 450-ish people. Before the pandemic hit, I had gone on four or five dates, but nothing too serious, never been in a relationship. I've always really wanted to step out of my comfort zone, and I hit the road not knowing what to expect. We made it to Alaska. Just managed to Las Vegas. Look at that beautiful view. Feels good to be in Rhode Island. We are in Rapid City, South Dakota, for date state number 37. Uh, to meet that many women in such little time, it's overwhelming. How are, How are you? you? So nice to meet you. You too. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, I've done so many incredible things on my dates. I've gone riding bikes on Venice Beach. I've rode on zip lines in the mountains of New Hampshire. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's go. I rode in a helicopter in Alaska, flew in a plane with my date in Minnesota. This is wild. I'm flying, boys. I've gone on 50 dates in 50 states twice. It's just been the adventure of a lifetime and so extraordinary, and I'm so glad that I did this. Please welcome Matthew Werning to the Tampa. Fair. Hi, Matthew. Have a seat. This is incredible. I this mean, is so cool. Okay, I have oh. so many questions. First of all, who's paying for all these dates? <laughs> Uh, my, uh, me, you're I'm in your twenties. Oh. Where, you, who's paying for this? No, there's, there's just so much that goes into it, and I mean, it's nice that I have so many followers. I've got, you know, people have donated me stuff to oh pay for dates and stuff, but I, I make sure I pick up the check every day. You but pick it gets, up the check every day. I, I, I do, gentlemen. but it gets, it gets pricey. Listen, it gets pricey. I, I was thinking about you because I'm like, he's going. Do you know gas prices when you were doing oh. this? Oh, <laughs> it was, yeah. This 2022 gas prices destroyed me. <laughs> my, my wallet was crying. It was bad. Yeah. You've been over. You told Newsweek you've been over 100 dates, yeah. and you still don't. Don't really know women. Absolutely not. No, I, I could I could go on two thousand dates and I would not understand women. I get no. that. <laughs> but you're from Huntley, Montana. Yeah. It was like about four hundred people in the town. Uh -huh. You had never prior to this adventure. You had you ever gone on any dates? I'd gone on a few here and there, but I never. And throughout. Because I heard you'd only been on five. Yeah, throughout my cult. Man, word in the bathroom, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're talking about me around here. <laughs> um, but yeah, like through college, I you know would go on a couple, but I wasn't big into the dating scene and yeah. not much. But this, I decided to just you know take the bull by the horns and hit the open road and just go all in. So, you know, we, the show is you did what for love. Um, what did your what was the most shocking reaction or from family and friends other than what are you thinking? Well, yeah, I think I think when I told my parents that I was quitting my full time job right out of college to go travel and date women, they were like, "No, you're not." Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're quitting your job. You're yeah. like, these look like sensible parents. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, my little my small town family from right. Montana, and there, and you know, they just have grown up in you know the nine to five job, and you right. know, and and after I graduated, they like wanted me to be financially secure and everything, and and I had a good job, but I was dating. But what did women. they say? What did these sensible people say they, they thought, when you told them that you were going to do what you did? They thought it was crazy. They really did. And my dad was more like that a boy. He was kind of like oh, patting on the back, like, go what? get him. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, but so you got it from your daddy. Oh, maybe, your daddy? maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. What did your yeah. mom say? My, my mom was. They were very. They were both very worried, just because when I first hit the road, that was COVID was still in the air and things like that. My truck had over two hundred thousand miles on it before I even hit the road, and so yeah. So there were some odds against me, and so they were worried about my health, my well-being, you know, what I was getting into. You know, it was it was just pretty wild. So. It is. <laughs> Your yeah. poor parents are like, we're just in shock by this child we've raised. <laughs> yeah. Coming up, after more than 100 dates, we're going to meet the one who stole Matthew's heart. Joining us after the break. Yeah. Woo. Woo. We're back with Matthew Warning, who, like all my guests today, have us asking, you did what for love? Well, he crisscrossed the country dating 
in all 50 states. And after meeting so many smart, beautiful, wonderful young women who are around the country, Matthew recently chose the one with whom he's taking it to the next level. Her name is Cassidy Quinn, and she joins us now. Hi, Cassidy. Hey. All right, so I, I happen to know that tens of thousands of women were trying to go out with the cross-country Casanova is what they were <laughs> calling him. What made you want to meet him? Honestly, I would say I followed him on TikTok for a while, and one day I was like, you know what, why not? What do I have to lose? I like doing new things, and I thought it'd be something fun and different to do. And I was like, if I don't get it, I don't get it, but now here we are. Here we like, are. The last one standing. <laughs> the last one yeah. standing. I just like to take risks, you know? What was your dating life like prior? Because, I mean, listen, you guys have apps, you have TikTok, you have so many ways to meet people, but it's still hard to connect yeah. with somebody on the level you're looking for. Right. Yeah, no, I've definitely had, like, two serious boyfriends. Um, I dated someone in college for a few years. Just didn't work out. So now I'm just like, whenever that person comes along, I'm ready to meet them. But yeah, I've dated people for a while. So now you find yeah. yourself in the clutches of the Casanova. <laughs> yeah. The clutches. From a small town. Yeah. Um, what was it about him once you met him on that date? He was just really easy to talk to. Like he, I feel like first dates are hard enough. And yeah. then when you put a camera, that makes it more difficult, but he like made me feel comfortable and like we could communicate well. And I feel like we agreed on almost everything we talked about. So I just felt like at ease, like it wasn't like, you know, like it was, I don't know, it wasn't nerve wracking. In, in I like, so it just felt right. Oh boy, this one. <laughs> Go ahead, redo that little move. What did you just do? Oh, a little, a little shrug. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here she is, Cassidy, obviously gorgeous. I, you know, you. smart, all of these things, but that's the outside. How did you get to know her heart? Because you've been on this whirlwind. You're all over TV. People are talking about you. It's hard to stay humble, but it's also hard to stay focused. Yeah. How did you focus on getting to know her heart? Well, I think it was definitely a two-way street, and I think we complemented each other so well. Like, our date, we had a handful of things planned that actually didn't go according to plan, mm -hmm. and she was just so, like, uplifting about what it. What did you and have so, planned? Uh, we were we were going to a ball. It was, like, a ball where we got dressed up, and it was, um, like, kind of like a, I don't know, like a medieval theme? or it like Bridgerton. Like, like a Bridgerton ball. Oh, you were going to, oh, okay. Yeah, like yeah. a Bridgerton ball. And so we went to that, but um, some things got mixed up with my cameraman getting in there, and they were like, oh, you know. Because you were documenting them. it all. Right. Yeah, yep, and so there was just some mix up and 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 everything but she was so like uplifting about oh let, well that's okay let's do this let's do this let's oh. do this and like some dates could get discouraged or be like oh well you know we didn't get to experience that to the fullest but um so i think she rolled that, with it yeah she yeah. rolled with it she rolled through the punches and then we just kept having fun the whole time and kept having engaging conversations with each other and so how long you've been dating now well, <laughs> well, we've gone on a couple dates. Oh, I, like yeah. four times in real life. Yeah, like months apart. So, yeah. what do y'all call you, you youngsters? So, you, what do you call that then? Because back in the day, when you went out four times, you were dating. Right. <laughs> um, what is this? What I is don't this? know. Yeah, you know, it's like there's there's more to the story. In February, yeah. me and her will go to Puerto Rico. Yeah. And everything, and so there's. So, okay, you're going. You're together. You're going to Puerto Rico. <laughs> you're going on vacation. This yeah. is all just yeah. so new to me, so I don't really Okay, so I Bill know. Murray, I read a quote, I hope he really said it. The great actor Bill Murray, I read a quote, he said, if you go away with somebody and you come back still liking them, that's the one. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. That's, that's, the that's one. a fair take. Yeah. 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 Because if you go away, you're sharing a room, you're sharing a bathroom. I mean, you're like kind of stuck there, and you do learn if someone can roll with the punches. Yeah. And I think that's a good test. So but you also have distance between us. You live in Chicago, you're still in Montana. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so anytime we've met, it's been like months apart. So like months, months apart. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what, what are we doing? So you're gonna go to Puerto Rico, yeah. and what's the goal? I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll go to Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. take on that, and uh, we'll do some fun excursions and whatnot, and we'll see if sparks fly. Okay, well, just so, uh, I'm not rushing you all, mm -hmm. and I don't, I mean, wherever you take this journey, you've encouraged other people, young people, to step out of their box. But if this journey somehow leads to you ever wanting to get married, I'm not saying you have to, do you know I officiate weddings? Okay. Oh, so let's do it. it. Okay? okay, I'm just saying. Let's do it. I, I'm basically a TikTok minister, so, but I uh, take your time. I love that you're just enjoying the moment. The ring or whatever else is meant to be. Da, da, da. Enjoy this. Live in the moment. That's what's fun. Enjoy day. this. I love it. Thank you, Matt and Cassidy.